Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon right here on Mistletoe Online. This is episode three of a who knows how big of a series. I hope you guys are excited. In the last episode, we went over to Helena Prison. We rescued Shayna and we met a new friend named Lavitz and we took down Frugal, the head warden of Helena Prison, or at least stopped him enough so that we could escape. Now we are on the run from the law and we are heading into this area, the prairie. Let's go ahead and enter. Come on, Lavitz boy, let's go. Lavitz, can you keep going? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's go, we gotta get out of here. Oh no. Where did that arrow come from? Hide yourselves. Come on, Lavitz. Uh-oh. Starting to be a burden on us, friends. Does it hurt? Ah, it's just a scratch. Tis a flesh wound. But you gotta cover the wounds. It can be treated later. We gotta run first. I will carry Lavitz. Shayna, go first. Don't treat me like a child. I'll go with you guys. Wow, all right. I can walk by myself. He knows, he knows what's going on. Here they come. Let's go. Yeah, remember when I said we're being chased? Look at Helena way back in the background. Yup, we got we got some Morden set right, right, right on our butt. Yeah, good, good, idea. yeah, oh, good, yeah. That's a good spot, I'll never find you behind the tree, the big old tree there. Where could they go, I wonder? Uh-oh. Oh no. There they are. Women first, then we might spare those people in Bazoo. Um. Is this the fugitive? Don't be silly. Go over there. I don't know why they have that voice, but they do. Look at the little. Oh, that thing just saved our lives, man. Saved our lives. That was close. All right, so now we have control of Dart and we are no longer being chased, at least as far as we know, by the Imperial Sandora. So let's go ahead and head up this way. It's actually important that you head up this way first so that you can come here and go, oh no, it seems too far to jump over. Look at that, look at that early, early graphics, early 2000 graphics on that water. It actually looks kind of good. All right, so we're about to get into a random encounter, but let's go ahead. Oh, shucks. So we have a couple new fights here that we can uh, we can brawl with. One of those is going to be this Crescent Bee. The other one is going to be this Mantis, but there's also the Mole and the Vampire Kiwi that we can find here in the prairie. Let's go ahead and focus on this Crescent Bee, which has, by the way, a very high evasion stack. I'm also realizing right now that I still have Volcano equipped. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and then focus on the Mantis. Nothing really to do in these early encounters. Just take him out, move on. Oops, messed that one up. Get your additions up. That's pretty much it. It's worth noting that that Mantis does a lot of damage to Shayna. Like, a lot of damage. 24 damage at this level is, is kind of huge. There we go, that's what I wanted was that Harpoon Boy. There we go, and the Mantis goes down. Now you'll notice that we actually get some mediocre XP from this, but better than we have in the past. 22, not bad. Lavitz and Shayna are now both level five, and Lavitz has a brand new addition called the Spinning Cane. Well, we won't use it just yet though. I went back to double slash on Dart just because, remember, we're trying to max that out as soon as possible so that we can switch to the better edition, which is Volcano. Now, we can head over here to this shack. Look at that thing in the background. I guess it's a horse, but like, like a camel horse? Ugh, such a trifle wound. Does it still hurt? A little bit. I learned first aid. I thought it would be useful, particularly in times like these. Shayna, learning? That's something new. Women don't learn. Mr. So-and-so might come back injured at any moment. Yeah, frugal, I think. Let's use the shack over there. All right. All right. We have to head to the shack here, so just, just go right inside, go to the shack. 
Easy peasy. This is going to be a lot of uh, exposition in here in said shack. Here you go. Thanks. It's much better now. Hmm, look at that axe sitting there. I wonder if we could take it. It seems we completely lost those fools from Helena. All right. Nice job, guys. Dart, tell me about these last five years. Uh, it's okay. Never mind. You don't have time for this now. Uh, it's fine. It was a journey for revenge. It was a journey to find the guy who deprived me of something precious and kill him. I couldn't tell you, Shayna. That's why I left by myself. The Black Monster? I only know the name. Nobody would tell me more about it because they said I was still too young. What is the Black Monster? What are you talking about? I have two homes. One is Celise, where I spend time with Shayna. And the other is where I spent time with my parents, my first home, which was taken from me by the monster 18 years ago. Neat. Dart's hometown 18 years ago. Huh. It was when I was five years old. Neat was assaulted by the black monster. Seems pretty damn powerful. Dart's mom? Dart? Dart's dad! We were lucky. Look at his shoulder. He's got the same armor that Dart wears now. Only three of us could get away from the village. Look at that. Oh no! But my father returned to the village. No! And my mother followed my father to the village to help everybody. But that's where the black monster was waiting. Wow. I was left alone, shivering and waited for dawn. Who's Don? It's a joke. The sun revealed a foreign landscape. It was a completely transformed neat. What was that? And I found this. It's glowing. What I found on the ground was only this. It's a memento, the only thing my father carried around all the time. Dart, it's okay, I understand. Shayna, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It's okay, I knew you would tell me someday, don't say anymore. So you just came back from a journey to bring closure to the past. I'm still not there yet. Hmm. You said neat. It doesn't seem to be a village in this country. It was located farther north from here. I guess nobody even remembers its name anymore. Lavitz, tell me, what is going on in this country? Currently, our kingdom of Basil is at war with the Imperial Sandora. The war has spread all over Sertio. Why was the truce broken? Uh, because of the dragon. The legendary monster added weight to Sandora and broke the balance of power. Then Emperor Duel started to be more and more aggressive. Dragon? No, no way. Such a thing can be used in war? Do you know something about it? I was swooped down on by a dragon or a flea before I entered Selyss. I was overwhelmed. There was no way to escape from it. I was saved by a passing warrior. That's why I'm still alive. Hmm, a passing warrior. 
The dragon is advancing faster than I thought. We must do something or it'll be too late. You mean more casualties? Yeah, it's a war. Anyway, I have to go back to Indul's castle and bail. There are so many things I have to report to King Albert. You know what, Dart? You guys should come along with me. Minister Noish might know something about the Black Monster. I see. They're a royalty with a long history. I might be able to find out something new. You didn't think to look that up? Maybe when... Uh, whatever. It's a done deal, then. Lavitz, don't take chances. You are not completely well. You'll make a good wife one day. Ma'am. Woman. Make a good wife. Not a companion. Or a good team member, but a wife. Let's go. Okay. Can I grab... Hmm. It is well worn. It looks very sharp. Uh, let's move on. So you can take a break there if you so choose, but there's no need to. You did just take a, a pretty long break, I'd say. We're gonna get into a random encounter probably before we... Oh, look at that. Thank you, game. Right here, there's a tree almost falling. Wait, if we carry this to the river, it can be a bridge, can't it? Hmm, my blade won't work. Maybe... There was an axe in this shed. Maybe we could grab the axe and cut down the tree and get across the river. A vampire kiwi. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and show all of the new enemies that you can find in each area, just because I think that's the best bet. Vampire kiwis will, of course, uh, actually like suck on you and absorb your health, and then they'll get health back. But they're also super squishy and will die incredibly easy, so don't even worry about it. Anyways, like I was saying, we need to get this axe from the shack here, and I think we're okay. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, don't go, uh, don't go that. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, a total vanishing. Yeah, that one is actually super, super well hidden, by the way. Uh, if you don't get that, like, I don't blame you. It's hard to see. It is a pretty well-worn axe. I get it. We can knock down the tree on the cliff using this. Acquire the axe from the shack. What I love about that is it doesn't just simply go into our inventory while we're in the shack. Like, he actually picks it up and has it on his shoulder. I think that's really cool. It's just like a nice subtle touch. And then we can go ahead and pop this tree down. If we put this tree across the river, hmm, it may work as a bridge. It could be worth trying. Thank you, Captain Obvious Lavitz. Whoa. One more, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God. Shoot. Well. You tried. Have to think about another way. Do you have to think about another way? Because the answer is, no, you don't. No, you don't. Guess what, guys? Guess what happens to water? It carries things for you. So you can just, you know, have it carry the tree for you. And then we can head up here, maybe get into a random- Yep. So, there is something I could mention about random encounters, but, uh, or enemies that I should say, that have- They have elements assigned to them, or, or come from certain elements. Like, the Crescent Bee is a wind element, the Mantis is earth, the Mole is earth, the Vampire Kiwi is dark, but we can't take advantages, really, of these weaknesses yet. Like, yes, we have Burnout, and yes, we have SparkNet, but, like, do we really need those? What's that? Oh, look! It's the tree we just chopped down, moving slowly down the river. And then, oh, look at that. We created our own bridge somehow. Uh, I can show something real quick. We did just pick up a pretty hidden item, uh, one that surprisingly a lot of people don't know about. Uh, let's actually go ahead and look at that real quick. Uh, total vanishing. Destroys minor enemies. Yeah, no joke. Literally just ends a random encounter. They just, they just die. It's a pretty cool item. So let's go ahead up here and grab this chest, which should be an angel's prayer. Yes. Look at, we're getting close to like the beach. Look at the water. Oh, there's a family here. There's also like this weird, I'm just gonna show you. Ah, there we go. We found a mole finally. This is the first mole that I ran into in so far. Uh, these guys can do like a burrow attack. They actually do quite a bit of damage, so, but I still would focus on the Kiwis first. Just get them off the field. They, they just, they're, just, they're just faster, you know? So take those out as soon as you can. We're gonna actually put Shayna onto the mole. Again, it is Earth Element, but we 
uh, we just can't capitalize on knowing things weaknesses yet. So we'll just go ahead, finish those guys off. I will say Dart is very, very close to maxing out Double Slash. And once he does, we will basically never see it again, my friends, uh, which is pretty cool. Sometimes it's cool to advance your character. And also, Volcano just sounds so much cooler than Double Slash. And I can't wait until Lavitz starts really kicking butt with his spinning crane attack. Double Slash. There we go. That's the mole and two Kiwis dead. We'll actually get reasonable XP. I think probably about 27. All right. We're very far away from another level up in case you didn't notice. Okay, so let's uh, see. There's nothing here. It's kind of weird that there's even that thing there, but we can talk to this family. You could skip them as well. There is no real reason to talk to them. You look like a civilian. What is the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's your knight's fault. Hold on, I'm a knight of Basil. We should be allies. I'm your enemy. We escaped from Sandora. Honey, don't say that or we're gonna be arrested. But, 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 but these knights destroyed our lives. We couldn't stand living in Kazas and ran away from there. Please excuse us. You don't need to excuse yourself. King Albert always lends a helping hand to sufferers, even those from an enemy country. What? Son, are you hungry? Yes. Does he have a ponytail? I like it. Then have this. Random food that I pulled from my armor crutch. Uh, thank you. You. If you go through here, you'll find bail. You can go there if you like. But, but we don't know anybody. Oh, why don't you go to my house? It's too big for my mother and myself anyway. You are... My name is Lavitz. I am a knight in the service of King Albert. Th th thank you very much. How kind of you, Sir Lavitz. Sir Lavitz. Lavitz is such a good dude, man. Freedom. I've been waiting 20 years and it will soon be mine. I am glad that I am alive. Thank you. You're welcome. I will never forget your kindness. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right, now we can head out back on to the world map. Now, we only have one way to get to Bale. You might remember, now we're north of Surya, Sir Surio. You guys might remember back in Salis, somebody said something uh, that was, I think, pretty important. Something about needing to go through the limestone cavern to be able to get help and aid from Bale. So not only did I save, but I also did the wonderful thing of using some healing potions on our friends. Now let's head into the Limestone Cave. One of our first real, um, I guess, dungeons of the game would be the Limestone Cavern, Limestone Cave. Right off the bat, we can go grab this item, which is going to contain a detonate rock, which is actually used. Uh, it's another attack magic item. And then we can head uh, this way. Okay. Well, this is a good time to talk about some of the enemies we can find. An ugly balloon, a screaming bat, an orc, a slime, an evil spider, and an, uh, a boss fight. So we have two screaming bats, and it looks like one orc that we have to take out. Oh, those guys do a little bit more damage than I thought they did. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get one of these bats down. They don't have that much health. About, uh, well, less than, less than 13. And then, of course, I'm gonna use Shayna to focus on this screaming bat as well. And our big god Dart is gonna focus on that orc there. Ultrasonic. Seven damage. Yeah, these guys are starting to do some damage. So let's go ahead. Look at the orc. He, I think they look so cool. He's like a, he, he kind of reminds me of a, uh, for the, you World of Warcraft fans, he kind of reminds me of the, um, uh, the, oh man, why is their name escaping me? The Razorfin Crawl guys, you know what I'm talking about. The, the pig, the, yeah, not, yeah, you know what I mean. Let's go ahead, focus the orc down. This name is escaping me and it's gonna hit me when I'm done recording and I'm gonna be like, oh! I'll probably put it in. <laughs> there we go, finished the orc.
Do, do, do. 26 XP. We just don't get that much. And a healing potion, though, which is definitely worth it. Uh, the more healing, the better. Okay. In the effort of being 100% complete in this game, I actually reloaded a save file. This is, this is Corey from the future, by the way. I'm about like 10 episodes into Legend of Dragoon right now, but I went all the way back to this episode because I forgot an item. And thank you, Game Daughter, for pointing this out to me. So if we go this way, we can actually jump down here. This is actually pretty well hidden. And we can come all the way down and find a hidden chest, which contains a healing potion. Yeah, I went all that way for a healing potion. And then you can just hop back up and go right back out this way. And then uh, I'll let Pass Cory take over. I just wanted to show that. Okay, uh, uh, you got this, Pass Cory. So we'll continue down here. We'll find ourselves in a room with like a stream river thing. Anyways, we actually want to use the river and can kind of control the analog stick. And we can go certain places like all the way down here and go ahead and grab a bastard sword wait a minute can we equip that on our dear friend dart let's go to armed and see bastard sword we sure can look at that actually a pretty substantial upgrade over the broadsword uh, about five plus damage oh beautiful we can also equip the night shield if we want raises physical defense power slightly uh just makes us a little more defensive or we could go and equip that on Shayna, uh, but more importantly than that, we should equip the leather jacket, which we still haven't done. And we should also equip the night shield, just because she does take so much damage. I would like her to be just a little bit, little bit, little bit more uh, able to withstand a hit without dying every single time. So let's go all the way back up here. We might get into a random encounter, but that's fine. And we wanna go down right here. Look at this, and then we can find 20 G and we're done with that now we can head down And we'll find ourselves over on these stepping stones here Which is I love this place. I think this 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 like whole area looks amazing stepping stones Shayna be careful not to slip Wow, you guys are annoying if I was live it's I'd be like I can't I can't deal I can't deal with these right up here We can find Another total vanishing, so we now have two of those. And we can head right up here and grab a body purifier. Gonna be super useful, my friends. Head this way. Lavitz! Oh no! Dude, this guy is. Uh, he get. Dart! Lavitz! I won't let you go, brother! Jeez, Luis! Whew! Ugh! This is the second time you've saved my life. Yeah, I was just around. Whew. Even though that was the case, I was lucky you were around, Dart. Kiss, kiss. It'll be a long relationship we will have. Yup, that's right. Yeah, men. Look at that, look at them patting each other. There, oh yeah. Excuse me, you guys. Don't leave me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we find ourselves in the next area here. This place is kind of a maze. So we can head all the way. Oh, oh, don't do it. Can we go up here? Ram encounter? No. Look at us, man. We're so fast. What is this thing? What are you? We can go ahead and grab this, which is going to be 100G. Really worth getting there. What is that thing? Anyways, continue over here. Now, this is the big thing here. Oh, no. Oh, hello. We have two new enemies. The slime and the ugly balloon. These should go down pretty easy. We have a slime, which, of course, is earth elemental, ugly balloon. Let's go ahead and hit this ugly balloon. Top that balloon. Eight damage, Shayna. Eight. Oh, look at that, that noise that it makes when it hits you. Ew. Uh, anyways, I'm going to focus on the slime here. Mm. Although, I think the ugly balloon is the one that has the potential of poisoning. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and use double slash, and that will that will take out that slime. No problemo. Probably could have done that with dart alone. Probably didn't need Lavitz's help. In fact, I know we didn't need Lavitz's help. Uh, 
Luckily, this ugly balloon isn't using any other attacks. It's just kind of hitting us with its belly. So we'll go ahead and pop this thing real quick. And bam! That should definitely take it out. 28 damage. Looks like we don't need anybody. Actually, it has more health than 28. But still, it has about 37. 21 XP. Look how far away we are from another level up. Yeah, it's not, it's weird. It takes a lot to level up right now, a whole lot, but we're also about to do something that's going to be super cool. Let's go ahead and see what these are. You'll see what I mean in a second. These are rock fireflies. Oh, you know a lot. Well, I used to be saved by these a lot. Me too. In particular, the ones close to a battlefield were helpful. Excuse me, don't just chat amongst yourselves and leave me out. Tell me what they are. So, you go ahead, scatter them, make them all scare. Oh. And they completely heal your party. Oh boy. The light from a rock firefly has a healing power. Well, Shayna learned at least one thing. <laughs> Women. I know something you don't know too, Dart. What, what, what is that? I'm not telling. Well, you've been away from each other for five years. It's natural to not know about each other. Wait, my mom and I aren't like that. Every time I go back to Bale, she welcomes me with the same smile. Lavitz is a mommy's, what, did I say something wrong? Let's get going. Your mother is waiting for you in Bale, right? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this treasure. Let's get another angel's prayer, and then we can head up here and grab Another item which is going to contain a lousy burnout, which, eh, hey, whatever, you know what I mean? Do you really need those? No, not really. Go down here. We want to, oh, we could use it again, but we don't want to. We want to head out without radar. Yeah! All right, so look at this. Doesn't this, oh my god, I just, I love this whole area. Like, it's just stunningly beautiful. Now that I'm back and not rudely interrupted. I'm gonna grab this real quick. We don't need to, because we have to go out this way anyways, but we can get a charm potion. More importantly though, we wanna head all the way back here and it'll bring us to a familiar map. Yeah, it's the bottom part of where this creature thing is. Now you can actually, whoa, whoa, do you think we can get it? We got it! Whoa! Oh, what do you have here? A poison guard, interesting. That is something that I never knew about when I was younger. It took me, I, I don't even know how many playthroughs of this game to realize that you could actually catch that creature and get a poison guard, which is a phenomenal phenomenal equipment item and we're actually going to use it right now we're actually going to throw that onto Shayna uh because we do not want her getting poisoned in the upcoming battle so that means that we have a free night shield now that we're just going to throw on dart just so that he takes a little bit less damage super 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 important to grab that item if you can most people don't even know that that exists I know I didn't so we want to keep heading this way, past the chest that we got earlier, and right up through into the next area. This is a... I just... I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, man, but this this is just so nostalgic. This, this area in particular, for whatever reason, maybe it's because I spent so much time here when I was a kid, I don't know. But it's just, it's, it's such a lovely area. The limestone cavern, it's huge, it's, it's, it's all of the, the, maybe it was because it was like so beautifully rendered when I was younger, I don't know. Anyways, now that we saved, we're uh, super close to a random encounter, and there it is. Head up here, and we can find another body purifier, right up here on the left. And then there's another item that we can actually grab and equip right here, which is the bandana. Uh, normally I equip that. We're just gonna go ahead and throw that on Dart, I think. I'd probably the best bet. Or is it not Dart? No, no, it's not, it's Lavitz. Uh, interesting, actually not that good for him. It's going to lower all of his attacks. We'll save it. It's gonna be useful for somebody or something right, uh, later on. Anyways, look at how big this place is. You can also, you hear that? You can hear something. Yeah, what is, ooh, what is that I wonder? 
Hmm. Let's continue. Oh, man. That doesn't sound good. There's something there. Could that be the much-talked-about guardian of the cave? Shayna, step back. Don't worry about me. I can help. Oh no. Oh no, it's all oh my guys horrifying. It's a giant snake, the Eurobolus. The Eurobolus is a giant snake, the guardian of Limestone Cave that we actually heard about in the very first episode of the game. Now, I didn't actually equip any volcano or anything like that, but uh, it's worth mentioning that you could before you got into this fight, just so that you can try to take out the Eurobolus uh, even, even faster than you normally could. Now, this thing only has 270 health, so you should be able to kill it kind of quickly. Now, it is a non-elemental, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, we have, we have, uh, well, don't use detonate rock, but we, we could use spark net, we could use burnout, we're gonna go ahead and use a burnout on him, and try to see if we can get as much, as much damage as humanly possible on him. Let's see what we could do here. Oh, I messed up. Well, 27 damage is still quite a bit. It's, magic defense is super low, so, uh, that's why Shayna is able to do that much damage. You know, it's, it's fine. I'm not worried about this. That attack that it did on Shayna, by the way, uh, cool thing, that could just really, 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 really hurt you. Magic items on this fight are going to be your best friend. They will just do a tremendous amount of damage against this guy. Watch, 40 damage against the Eurobolus. And back on him with Dart. Especially with Dart doing 25 damage every single turn. And then you have Shayna do it. Oh! This thing really, really wants to kill Shayna. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use another Sparknet on Eurobolus. Pretty sure he's not elemental. Forty damage. We are kicking the booties. And he's already in yellow. I love his like. He's not like a. He's like a. Like because of graphics at the time, they couldn't make him all one piece. You know, it's kind of silly. So this is a, a poison that he will use. Luckily, our dear Shayna cannot be affected by it because she has poison guard equipped. Uh, for whatever reason, this boss will focus. I actually don't think I want to show this real quick. We cannot hit it right now, or at least Dart cannot. I can't, it's too high to hit. Tell me about it, dude. Anyways, we can use Shayna to get it from here. And Dart could. Theoretically, use detonate rock, but there's just no point in doing it. So instead, Dart and Lavitz are going to, uh, they're gonna just uh, heal up and guard here. Oh no! That's fine. We'll go ahead and use a uh, an angel's prayer over on Shayna. Remember, make sure that no, we should have actually bought some more magic while we had the chance. We should make sure that nobody is dead at the end of a boss fight. It is so important in this game that everyone be alive at the end of a boss fight. Trust me. Another seven damage. Now you could theoretically save all of your uh, items so that Lavitz and Dart can use them here. Unfortunately, I just think that Dart and Lavitz are better off hitting them when he's on the ground and like not worry so much about it. You know what I mean? Um, like, yeah, they can't really attack him right now, but that's fine. Shayna yet again! Now, no one can be poisoned, because Dart and Lavitz are constantly going to be guarding, so no, poison is not even going to be an issue. Alright, here we go. Now we can finish off this baby. Let's go ahead. He's in the red, meaning he's got, like, 10% health. Let's go. Let's see if Lavitz can finish him off. <laughs> No? All right, it's up to you, Dart. That 25 damage should definitely end this fight. There we go. No? Oh, man. He is in the red longer than I thought. Watch Shayna finish him off with a bow attack as we all cry about it. Nope. Good. 
That just means more additions for us, friends. Harkaboom. And Dart will finish him. Yeah. That's my boy. Down goes the big snake. We did it. Now, let's get on our way to Endel's castle. Shayna. Hmm. Oh no, it's still alive! <sighs> oh no. Shayna is not all she appears. So, we get 400 experience. That is why I said, make sure you are still alive. Which wasn't even enough to level up Dart. Oh my God. Anyways, everybody else hit level six and we get the War God's Amulet. Let's talk about that for a second though. What was that? So now we know that Dart has something that sparkles. Shayna sparkles. That girl, that girl that we met that rescued us, she, she sparkled. What on earth happened? I, I don't know. She evaporated that snake, man. Anyway, we're safe. We should think about how to get out of here. Uh, probably just leave. It'll be fine when we get to bail. I think. Huh. Now we could go back and save if we so choose, but there's no real reason to because we're about to leave Limestone Cave and head out into the world map anyways. We have one last item that we can get here in Limestone Cave and we defeated the Guardian, which means people from Saliz could go to Bale if they so choose in Indil's castle. And let's see if we can get out without another. Oh wait, one more, I lied to you. There's a healing potion and 50G. I forgot about the 50G and ah, oh, so close. So you may feel like, maybe I need to use some healing items now. I don't recommend it, there's no need. We'll be fine. Uh, in fact, we did get a new thing called the War God's Amulet. Increases hit rate for attacking all by 20%. For attacking all, increases hit rate for attacking all. Meaning our magic and our attack goes up. But lowers our defense quite a bit. But luckily, we don't have to equip that onto Dart. We can put that right on Lavitz for a clean, clean amount. That just increases his hit chance, no big deal. Let's leave the limestone, limestone cave. Ah, I'm so glad we were able to do both the prairie and limestone cave in this episode. So right up, right here, that looks like Indel's castle to me. Let's go ahead and save the game. That is it for episode three. In episode four, we will head to Bale and maybe meet the king himself, King Alberts or uh, see what he's doing, maybe hang out, chillax. And also, don't forget, Lavitz's mom. We are heading to one of the first big cities of the game, which means a lot of shopping and a lot of exploring. But after that, things get really, really interesting. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, or a comment letting me know what, what do you think's going on with Shayna? Unless you know what's going on with Shayna. If you know what's going on with Shayna, you shouldn't say the thing. But anyways, uh, you can support the stream and these videos for just a dollar a month. You get early access to all of these over on patreon.com slash missilediner online. Thank you guys, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Euroboris. That was the snake we just killed. See ya!